This Python logical programs and data structures course is for both college students as well as experienced developers. This course is also for anyone with Python knowledge or for those students who have completed my Python for Beginners course. This is Bharat Tipiretti. I am a software architect and best-selling instructor. I have been helping hundreds of thousands of students across the world. You will start this course while working with numbers. You will print the digits in a given number, reverse a number, check if a number is a perfect number or not and more. You will then move on to work with strings where you will check if a given string is palindrome or not, remove ovals from a string, count the number of characters and words in a string. You will master the concept of recursion and work on a few recursive programs. Arrays and matrices are important for real-time applications. You will be finding the min and maximum in an array, find the mini peaks within an array, print the diagonal elements of a matrix, transpose a matrix, check if a given matrix is symmetric or not. Patterns are very important for interviews. You will be using the loops and printing various patterns from right triangle all the way to the pyramid pattern. You will then master the concept of algorithm complexity and apply that knowledge while working on various sorting algorithms starting with the bubble sort where you will enhance the algorithm to improve the time complexity. You will also work on selection sort and insertion sort as well. You will then move on to searching using linear search, binary search and also recursive binary search. Once you complete that, you will hop on to the data structure side of things where you will be implementing singly linked list, double linked list, working on a few problems using those linked lists, implement stacks, perform push, pop and other operations on a stack. You will be using that stack to work on problems like balance checking, reversing a string and more. Last but not the least, you will be implementing queues and trees as well.